fellow explorers, in this video, I'm going to take you inside the most amazing place for pinball lovers, lovers of history of old arcade games, or anybody who just likes to have fun with quarters. This is the Pinball Hall of Fame Museum on the Las Vegas Strip. Before I go in, I just want to turn around and show you that's the Las Vegas Strip over there. That's the Mandalay Bay. So it's just a quarter mile from the Mandalay Bay. This opened here on the Strip in the past year. They've had a location a little further, a couple miles from the Strip. And this one is new and really exciting. So that's what I'm going to walk you out. This place it's a museum and an arcade, and everything runs on quarters. I wanna point out right here, there are these change machines, you put dollars in and you get actual quarters. No tokens, no cards, nothing like that. They've got modern pinball machines here, like 24. They've got old classic pinball machines, like this one that's a pitch and bat machine. Here you kinda of like push these buttons to throw a ball, straight curved slider right here. When this was, new it was 10 cents per play you can see right here there's an actual dime slot for this pitch and bat machine now not all of the machines are actually on because they're still working on fixing a lot of them they got a whole bunch of new ones when they moved into this location well new to them but some they've got like that are nowhere else in the world this one right here the pinball circus this was a prototype produced by Midway, Bally, and Williams. Only two of these machines were ever built. It is a multi-level machine. You can see here, these are the flippers. You use these buttons to play it, and then you try to get the ball all the way to the top into the clown's mouth. They have the newer Stern machines. Stern is really the only company making pinball machines today, and they like to put these little digital screens on them. Williams and Bally was kind of the classic one before Stern came along. They've got more than just pinball machines. They're here, here with kids and they like to do the crane games. They've got those as well. The original games from the 20s, 40s, 60s, all that, they're still gonna be 25 cents. The newer games you'll find might be up to a dollar a play, but that is still a dollar in quarters. Did I mention there's no admission fee? there's no mission fee. So just walk right in, play as much as you want or as little as you want. They've got this machine here, which was a virtual reality pinball machine. Let's see, there's actually no, there's no, uh, nothing here. It's just a screen in it. They've got shooting games like this one from uh, 1972. They've got driving games, the classic Daytona USA. Of course, the classic air hockey. You can't have an arcade without air hockey. And you look in the back here, and these are a lot of these old classic machines. Uh, most of these machines will have a little card on them that tells us uh, when it was made. This is from 1977, this Gottlieb big hit right there. There's another baseball machine. Baseball, as you can see, was a really popular theme for pinball machines back in the day. And uh, we'll go ahead and walk down this way, see some more of these classic machines. Gottlieb was a maker of pinball machines for quite a long time. Uh, when machines started getting more modern and digital, then Gottlieb sort of went the way of the dodo bird. Here's another uh, pitch and bat machine. This one by Williams Base Hit. This one actually has like a little bat that you can use right here. And uh, for people who don't know, my dad actually used to fix pinball machines. And I think we actually used to have one of those in our house. Dad, when you watch this, let me know. Hydro Thunder, I used to love this game in the arcades. Not a driving game, it's a boat game. And uh, this is the other side of that first aisle that we walked into you know some people they leave credits on their machine because a lot of people come here are really quite that good classic machine right here is monster bash that's a really popular one this one was uh, one of the last machines that um, bally and williams produced these digital machines where they have a uh, the play area and then they have a screen in it so you're actually like shooting against digital aliens that one's pretty fun uh, looking down this way, we've got a little uh, shooting, another gun game here. We've got the Roadrunner. We've got Star Trek. I like this one. This one's a pretty fun machine. 
We've got The Hobbit. This is when Stern was uh, trying to see how big of a screen they can put in it. I think that's one of the pinball machines with the biggest screen. This one's pretty cool. It's called Whoa Nelly, and it's on some watermelons right there instead of on legs. Uh, looks like they're still working on getting Whoa Nelly back up again. I have always also enjoyed Theater of Magic. You sort of play like you're a magician and try to get your ball into that little uh, magician's box right there. And you can see when you come here, they will likely be working on the machines. Ever wondered what the inside of a pinball machine looks like? It looks like this. Lots of relays, lots of switches, really quite complicated to make these things work. We've got Lord of the Rings here in the corner with some monster that's coming at you. Okay, now I'll, I wanna point out right here before we go down that other aisle, they've got not Zoltar, but they've got Zoltan. Zoltan from 1969, right next to Peppy the Musical Clown. What does Peppy do? I will leave that for you to find out when you come here and put 25 cents into Peppy. And so you might be thinking, well, Chris, Zoltan, did they have Zoltar? You know, no arcade would be complete without Zoltar. And sure enough, they have a Zoltar. He will cost you 75 cents to tell you your fortune. Going down this aisle, oh, I also really loved this game, Fish Tales. Uh, the actual fish on the top will kind of move along. Uh, you'll notice some of the screens on these old ones are actually these color digital screens. They replaced them from kind of the old black and white or bleak and white screens. Fun House, this is a classic one where you gotta, you gotta get your ball into that little head right up there. <clears throat> Apollo 13 by Sega. This one's pretty fun because it would actually release uh, like 13 balls at one time. If you've never played a pinball game with 13 balls, it is pretty thrilling. Here you can, uh, or does your lover know? All right. Turns out he is clammy. That's what that thing said right there. This is a, a headless pinball machine missing the top of it right there. And uh, these are where the quarter slots, they put them on top instead of on the sides. We got more headless machines. These are all these classic machines that they're still working on getting up and running. You see they've got a few of them here. Over here, there is the Flintstones. I've never seen this machine before. This kind of looks like one for kids. Oh, this one has like really big flippers on it. Uh, Prop Cycle, this is a pretty fun game where you pedal on this thing like you're a flying propeller. I wanna point out back here, there's uh, two, more, there's another pitch and bat machine right here and this one is a, like a bowling type pinball machine. We'll see more bowling machines as we go down here. All right, uh, so that Revenge from Mars that I showed you, they've actually got two of them. They have a second one right here, but it was the sequel to this one, Attack from Mars, which uh, is one of these like classic pinball machines as well for pinball lovers. They've got that, also they got this Demolition Man, which is the only pinball machine I've ever seen that has these like handles right up here that you need to use the flippers and then occasionally you need to shoot things. Twilight Zone. What's cool about this pinball machine is in addition to the normal silver pinballs, it also has the Powerball, a yellow plastic pinball. You kind of like get them in this like gumball machine back here and then playing with that um, <clears throat> plastic one is pretty fun. Now, I love this new place because they now have a Dance Dance Revolution machine that they didn't used to have at their original location. So for weirdos like me that love to play Dance Dance Revolution, I can do that here in addition to pinball. You can see we're working on this machine right now and going down this way. This one, uh, it's not a baseball, it's a basketball thing. You kind of got this big button here and you try to shoot the baskets into that hoop that goes back and forth. Uh, in addition to Twilight Zone, the Adams Family here, if my memory serves me correct, the Adams Family was like the most produced pinball machine ever. So if you're in bars or places, you will likely see the Adams Family around. This is pretty fun. Uh, I love one of the modes is Hit Cousin It. Uh, you also give the balls to Thing. And uh, 
you try to spell greed. You know, Street Fighter 2 was a classic video game. Many people didn't know they also made a pinball machine out of Street Fighter 2. Okay, going back this way, more pitch and bat machines. Yes, those aren't the same ones. Those are in fact different ones because we haven't been down this aisle before. This is also one I used to play a lot called Circus Voltaire, where you try to make the menagerie marble. We're up, there's still, there's a ball in here. So we can actually kind of like play this machine a little bit, get the balls going around, hit the flipper. All right, this is probably pretty boring if you just watch me play this machine. Oh, we got the ringmaster who comes up there. The ball comes on top of him, he shakes it off. And then, oh, down the drain. Don't move, my ball got saved. We got Gilligan's Island. We've got another uh, baseball themed machine. This one, oh, this is cool. This is called Joust. And Joust is a two player pinball machine. Can you see this? There are uh, flippers here and there's also flippers over here. And so two players actually play this machine at the same time uh, when, when, when it works. Uh, here's another two-player pinball machine. This one's called Challenger. And you can see there's flippers on this side and there's also flippers on that side. That's pretty cool. So if you've come with a friend, definitely uh, check that out. Now you notice most pinball machines are all kind of the same size. There's a standard size to pinball machines. There's a couple of smaller pinball machines over here. This one's called Safe Cracker. Uh, you can see you try to crack the safe with this one. Uh, this is from 1996. Also, Gottlieb made a Super Mario Brothers Mushroom World pinball machine. This little tiny one right here. Uh, I used to play that one as a kid. It would actually dispense tickets. And uh, then there's kind of this like clown one from 1993, Punchy the Clown. Okay, clearly things are still in work here. They're trying to get it going again. As we go by this way, this is a baseball game where you roll a ball into it and then it makes the little guys kind of spin around up there until you get all your outs and then the game is over. So on the walls, uh, they've got more video games. This is like their video game section where they've got like a paper boy right here where you can you know, pretend you're like riding a bicycle and you're delivering newspapers. Marble Madness, where you can roll marbles with these trackballs. Uh, you can uh, get a computerized sex tester. You can find out whether you're a dude or a chick. Uh, the Simpsons video game. We got the classic whack-a-mole right here. I always enjoyed this one too, Terminator 2, Judgment Day. Former governor of California gracing this thing, Arnold Schwarzenegger, or as I should call him, the governator, when he was the governor. We got Dragon's Lair on the right, Star Trek. This was a classic arcade game back in the day, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, where four players would actually play this machine. Did I mention there's a lot of baseball machines? This one is uh, kind of like a, almost like a pachinko machine and that you hit it up, but this is Chicago Coins Mini Baseball. Off-road, this was a three-person driving game. Three people would drive these little cars around. This one's kind of like uh, Whack-A-Mole, except you, uh, you hit the alligators that come out with your hands. These things, uh, crane games, do you like crane games? These right here are historic crane games from 1938. That's right, 1938. So those are 80 plus years old. This one's really cool. I remember this one was at Disneyland at the arcade by Space Mountain. This one's called Bonsai Run. And in addition to a field down here, it's also got a field that goes up this way where you've got to hit the ball up. That one's pretty hard to play up there. Oh, so these are like some really classic video games. Uh, Super Mario Brothers game, the original Super Mario Brothers arcade game from 1986. Star Wars, Centipede. Miss Pac-Man, Space Invaders, a second Miss Pac-Man, uh, Tron right here from the movie Tron, came from the game Tron. 
Well, maybe the game Tron came from the movie Tron, but anyway, Tron. Uh, Joust, there's the versus Mario Brothers right there. And, and then Guitar Hero in this section, which kind of is like Death of Revolution. And then this little one that was a Sega game where you would kind of drive on this one. All right, just a couple more aisles to go down this way. I'm going to pick up the pace as we go down these last couple of aisles. There's a photo booth here. $3 to take a photo in that photo booth. I think that's pretty reasonable. And uh, down these aisles are much more classic games. I'm not going to go through all of the classic games because this video would then become like five hours long and I actually want to play some of the games while I'm here. Uh, here here's the Here's the relaxator, you can step on it and it vibrates. Um, what, this is kind of like uh, Space Invaders. This is a uh, Galaxian. And, uh, oh, here's, this is a really old one. Oh boy, it must be really hard to fix these things when that's what you're dealing with. This one, they're, they're keeping warm right here. It's cold. Um, here's another one that uh, has, the, has the guts open so you can see inside of it. I've never played this one, Rapid Fire, Doctor Who. This one is a uh, two player, another pitch and bat machine. Uh, this is another basketball machine. This is a roulette machine. This one worked back in the day. This is another crane game, except you don't, um, you don't pick up things and win them. You just kind of pick up like dirt. So if you want to like play a dirt, crane game, all you. Uh, this is a miniature golf pinball machine. We've got Qbert's Quest. Yes, Qbert was a video game, but it was also a pinball machine. And uh, Chicago Coin made a few machines. This is their goalie hockey game. Two people play it. You play with these things right here. Uh, there's a number of Star Trek pinball machines. Here's the next generation. Here's a classic Star Trek machine. They've got like quite a few of them. There's probably maybe a couple of other ones that I, I even just walked us right by. When you're in Vegas, you should probably check out the pink Gottlieb Vegas machine. This would be appropriate to play here. This is a fun one too. This Gottlieb teed off. I feel like you see this one still in a lot of bars. It's golf themed where the gopher tries to get your ball. Uh, I feel like it's a little bit uh, based on that, what Bill Murray uh, Caddyshack movie. I don't know, I kind of think of that one when I play that game. And uh, this is another aisle of classic machines that I'm just gonna, we'll see like that. And, uh, you know, there's actually a cat in here down the end of that aisle. There's a cat, like an actual, like a cat, not like a cat game, but an actual cat. And this, another pitch and bat machine, um, classic arcade games here. We've got Donkey Kong. We've got this skateboarding game. We've got Punch Out, Mousetrap, Frogger. It would not be classic arcade without Frogger or a classic arcade without Tetris. That's right. And, uh, then a bunch of others that they're still trying to get up and running. Oh, this is classic Dig Dug right here. This is Miss Pac-Man and Galaga. Lethal Enforcers. And rounding this corner where they're just kind of storing some things that are working on basically brings us back to the beginning where we started. Well, fellow explorers and pinball lovers, if you come to Las Vegas, definitely check this place out, support them. Get at least five bucks and drop them in the machine so this place can keep running and keep fixing these classic pinball machines so that they're here for generations to come. And now if you're coming to Vegas, you might enjoy some of my other videos. You'll find links on the screen here or in the description below. As usual, I won't say goodbye because I'll see you in one of those videos.